Hello guys, welcome back to our 3 JS series. And um in this episode we're gonna load up 3D models. So we're gonna create a GOTP loader. And um so all dot GLP files, which is just GLTP files converted to GLP. And um we can just load the right in to have a 3JS Canva here. So let's get started. So first up we will create two new files. So dot oh sorry gltf.js and um we're gonna create another one and model viewer.js alright so I've got three models on my public folder one two and three so you can download them by going to this website called sketchfab and you can just search up 3d models on there so yep so you can just search so this is a sci-fi gold 3d model and then um, you can just go and explore and um you can find 3d models that you like so yeah you can download 3d models off there and um let's get start so on our gltf.js uh, file let's um, have some imports so we're gonna import react then we're gonna import use ref and use state and then that's gonna be from okay from react great then we're gonna import some things from React through fiber and um that's gonna be use loader and it's gonna be use frame and um that's the old React through fiber module so React three fiber Alright and then we're gonna import a GLT field loader. Right. So now let's create a function GLT model that is gonna take some props. Um, we'll enter those in in just a minute. So yeah. Now we're gonna have this take a model path. Which is basically the model that it's gonna render. Then we're gonna take a scale, we're gonna set the normal to 10, the default, and then we're gonna have a position of which we're just gonna set a normal of 0, 0, and 0. Alright, these are the three props that we need for our GLTP model. Now we need to do const ref is equal to use ref so we're creating a new ref here then we're gonna do const glt fee then we're gonna do const hovered and um, this is just for a small effect then we're gonna have a use frame and then we're gonna pass in our function that is gonna be something like that. And then it will take in state and delta. So those are two things the function will take in. And now let's just do ref dot current. The rotation okay yep so 
So ref dot green dot rotation dot y plus equals zero point zero one. And finally, let's return the um the model. So first up, it's gonna be a primitive tag. Primitive, and then we're gonna have it link up to that ref. And the object here is gonna be our glt scene. The scale is just not um we're not gonna set this just to the scale. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little hover effect here. So hovered scale into 1.2 or just scale or 1.1 act uh 1.01 actually because it just gets very big yep so that's just a little effect and then let's have position great and then we're gonna add on pointer over so this uh okay on pointer over so this is when the point is over this primitive so we're gonna set hover to true and when it's out we're gonna set hover to false and then um our primitive is ready and let's close that all right so that's it for our glt fee file now let's move on to the model viewer so now we're gonna build um another thing so let's import some stuff react and then we're gonna import suspense then we're gonna import we don't need canvas we're gonna import orbit controls um, you need this in there because it's so that you can just, and then we need the, so then you can just, um, uh, move the GLT female. All right, so that's done. Now let's make our model viewer. So we're going to make this model viewer. Now he's going to have some props. So again, it'll take model path. It's gonna take a scale, and um, the default will be ten, and it's gonna take a position, and the default is gonna be zero, zero, zero. All right. So now let's do that, and um, let's export model viewer. Um, let's do the same here. Very good. Now that that's done, let's quickly come on here and start building this. So let's return again. So let's close this off and um. So we're gonna have a suspense. With a fallback of null. And then we're gonna have a GLT fee model with model scale and position. And then we're gonna have our orbit controls and just close the suspense off. And that's it, that's it for the model viewer. Now let's go into index.js. And now let's go down. Now we can let the lighting stay, but we're gonna add a point light. Um, and we're gonna just comment out the physics part because we don't need that. 
um actually let's just comment out this stuff and let's add our newly made model viewer onto here now we need to give it the model path which is just one dot glb great and um the position and the scale i'm just letting it be default for now um i think it it doesn't really need to be in physics so we can remove it and um let's comment out physics too all right oh okay Now let's go and check what we've got. So let's refresh and um okay we have a I can't really see what it is. Oh it's a Coca-Cola refrigerator. And um yeah the use effect was kind of not needed so let's remove it sorry use use frame let's just remove it i just um doesn't really make it look good to be honest all right um we gotta stay right so we got a coca-cola refrigerator great now um let's bring in Two more model viewers for our other um models, but um we we'll need to give these a position just cause um it will spawn in the same place. So um let's give this a position of two zero and zero. And let's give this a position actually no. Um let's give this a Z of two. So yeah, you could play um you have to play around with the position of your models to actually see where they fit. And then for this we're gonna add two zero and zero. Now let's let it render. All right, and um, let's ready to refresh. Okay, it's refreshing again. All right, we have our Coca-Cola fridge. Though, there's nothing else. Huh. Um, what's happening here? So. All right, all right, this plumbing. Oh, the dragon skull is huge. Okay, we need to set its scale to one. Um, scale is equals to one. It needs to be. Okay, that's massive. But as you can see, um, all of them loaded in. Um, let's refresh it. Alright, the dragon's skull is still huge. Oh, it's shortened, great. So yeah, we have a bridge, we have a Coca-Cola refrigerator, and a small skull. So, um, I'm gonna play around with the position, and, um, position this so that the dragon's skull is just lying in the middle of the bridge, and the refrigerator is actually at the start of the bridge so yeah see you guys so my guess that um this is this also kind of makes a scene it's just a dragon died while trying to eat a refrigerator so yeah you could um download a lot of 3d models or you could create your own by blender and then just export them so yeah you could just add 3d models like this to your react 
3D website. I don't know. Yep. Thank you guys. See you soon.